I'll make so that, moved. Um, so I'll make that motion. Sorry. Um, Mr. Dakotas? Yes. Mrs. Pavo? Yes. Mrs. Farnworth? Yes. And I vote yes. So we're back in open session. I'm going to report out. In executive session, we uh, reviewed the administrative contract, uh, <laughs> the district architect contract, and uh, allegations regarding a staff member. No votes were taken. I'm going to ask for a motion to seal the minutes. So moved. Second. Okay, Mr. Dakotas? Yes. Mrs. Pavo? Yes. Mrs. Farnworth? Yes. Okay, minutes are, fee are, minutes are sealed. Returning to our agenda under new business, I'm going to ask for a motion to approve the, uh, oh, no, sorry. Not Pledge of Allegiance? To approve. Uh, yeah, we could rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One, One nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. Okay. Uh, has anyone signed up for open forum? No. Mr. Mendes, you don't want to address us in open forum? Uh, so um, there's no consent agenda. We are on item number 5A under new business, discuss possible vote change order for high school building project. Dr. Sanchioni. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In your packet, you have a change order from our tone construction. This concerns, as you know, the project we're working on right now, the bathrooms here at the high school. And when they opened up the walls and looked at the structures that hold up the sinks, hold up the urinals, hold up all the things that are in there, they found that they had, had been pretty much de decomposed and rotted and all that. And they're recommending that they put in a much stronger structure to hold these things in place. Uh, the building committee has reviewed this uh, extensively and has recommended that it, it be funded. What I can share with you is, as you know, we're funding all these projects out of that original $2 million that were allocated to us um, from the town. And a number of those projects came in under than what we budgeted. So this 21000 22000 if I round out, will fit within the budget. Okay, you can ask for a motion to approve the change order. I'll make that motion. I'll second that. Okay, any discussion? Uh, Mr. Dakotas? Um, no, I always take the recommendation of someone building something to make it stronger for longer. So, good move. That's me. Ms. Pavo? I have no questions. Ms. Farmer? <clears throat> Dr. St. Uni, um, <clears throat> you referenced the $2 million allocation. Have you run this by the town? Are they on board with this? Because it wasn't part of the scope of the original um, allocation, I just want to make sure that. Well, I would say that the allocation was for the um, to do the bathrooms, and that change orders have always come. And actually, we're very fortunate. This is the first change order we faced, as as you know, we completed the middle school and so forth. And um, I consider this to be part of the project. And in that essence, as long as we stay under the two million, I think we're in good shape. I don't know if we, we, I mean, I've never brought change orders to the town. I'm wondering um, if a phone call at least to the town administrator. Well, what I, I've done with the town administrator is I've sent him updates on all the projects and how the money is being spent. So he always sees that, you know, the first six, you know, four out of the six came in under, then one came in over, one came in under. So I show him that we're never going to go above the two million. And that seems to have sufficed. Yes. No, I think because it's a fairly small change order, and if the town chooses not to approve it, we can absorb it in our fund balance. <coughs> I'm okay with it. But I just would like to have some kind of level of comfort that they will not definitely have an issue with this. I'm ha I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll send another update of, on where the $2 million is. I'll certainly send it to all of you to go with it. Um, but my sense... You know, having talked to Chris a few times regarding this, it's like, hey, you got the $2 million. We approved all the projects, but we understand that some come in over, some come in under. Just don't overspend your budget. Okay. And then that, that could very well be how it, how it ends up. I just want to make sure we've sure. taken the steps that we have to. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to ask for a vote. Uh, Mr. Dakotas? Yes. Ms. Pavo? Yes. Ms. Farnworth? Yes. And I vote yes. So motion passes. Next is discuss possible vote contract for district architecture firm Brewster Thornton Group. I'm going to ask for a motion to approve the contract as presented 
pending uh, uh, final wording <coughs> as advised by our legal counsel. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, I'm going to ask for any discussion. Uh, Mrs. Farnworth? I think that having the legal team reviewing it um, will suffice. Okay. Mrs. Pabo? No questions. Mr. Deco <laughs> Mr. <laughs> I'm really getting screwed up here. Mr. Dakotas? No comments, no questions. Thank you. All right. I'm going to ask for a vote. Mrs. Farnworth? Yes. Mrs. Pavo? Yes. Mr. Dakotas? Yes. And I vote yes. Uh, next is item 5C, update on THS chimney. Dr. Sankioni. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. In your packet, I've given you a quote to repair the chimney here at the high school and, and or take that chimney down. Um, structural engineers looked at that. There's some cracks and things like that. Nothing that's uh, eminent. There's no harm <coughs> that this is going to fall at any time soon or anything like that. But it is something that has to be addressed. So I wanted to make the committee aware that the building committee will discuss this on January 3rd. Um, my recommendation would be to add this to the capital plan, get it in there um, so that Eventually, if we receive some sort of funding, then we can take care of this. Um, and then it will be certainly up to the building committee recommended to you one or two options. One is to um, clean it out and, and cap it and fix all the cracks, which is about $30,000, which right now they're telling us is good for about 10 years, or just take it down, and that's $50,000. The chimney is no longer used. As you know, we have new heating systems at the high school. The chimney was for the old heating systems. It's not necessary and all that. So, again, it's, it's something that I think the building committee needs to digest, get it onto our plan, and then make a recommendation to the school committee. But right now, there's nothing eminent. Uh, I've, been, I've personally spoken to the structural engineer, and he says you have to take care of it, but that thing's not going to fall down anytime soon. Okay, I'll open the floor to any questions from the committee. Uh, Mrs. Farnworth? Just to get, you know, an opinion, I think because it's no longer needed, that, that I would imagine the route I would support would be to just demolish it. Um, it's no longer needed, and eventually it could very well be a, an issue. So, but again, we're not here to vote it tonight. I think the building committee needs to continue its due diligence and uh, come back with their recommendation. Okay. Mrs. Pavo? No comments, questions. <coughs> Mr. Dakotas? No comments, no questions. Thank you. Mr. Farley, any of you on chimneys? <clears throat> um, no, just echoing the same points as Ms. Farnworth. I mean, let's be honest here. The chimney's not some architectural <laughs> feat. I... I can't imagine it would be missed being demolished, but I'm sure there's reasoning. So the building committee, again, would find that out, I would presume. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, and we are up to item 6A, discuss possible vote, director of communications contract. I'm going to ask for a motion to approve the contract. I'll make that motion. Is there a second? I'll second it. Uh, any additional discussion, Mr. Dakotas? No discussion from me. Thank you. Mrs. Pavo? No discussion. Mrs. Farnworth? No. I, I think there were a couple of wording changes, Dr. Yep. Sanghioni, but they were minor. Yep, and those will be made. Thank you. Okay. I ask for a vote. Mrs. Farnworth? Yes. Mrs. Pavo? Yes. Mr. Dakotas? Yes. And I vote yes. Motion <coughs> carries. Uh, future meetings, states, agenda topics. So you have before you our current schedule of meetings, January 3rd, January 24th, and February 14th. I've also been contacted by the town council president regarding the joint meeting that we're required to have um, with the budget committee and the town council. She, she suggested January 12th. Uh, so how does that sound to people? I know, Peter, you were having an issue. I have a problem that night. I'm, a, I'm speaking at a, a convention. Okay. Um, so I, that I unfortunately committed to if I didn't commit to it, I would certainly yeah, break yeah, it. Yeah, no, 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 I understand. Um, so the budget part of that meeting is somewhat pro forma. I'm not, I don't know how people feel about Peter not being present. I don't think it would be an issue for that portion of the meeting. I think the larger question is anything that may right. be discussed after it. 
which also, in some regards, I, I yeah. Um, it, well, actually, before I go further, was the twelfth okay for you? It's okay really? for me. And it was okay for you, Deb. It is, D I, Dr. Singh. You know, do you have any availability <laughs> that week? <clears throat> that Friday. I know it's always a popular day, but mm. the thirteenth. Okay. The thirteenth. Friday, <laughs> even better. <laughs> any any day the following week, or probably too soon to go the week before. I think I think it, we have to have it by the fifteenth, right? Yeah. Well, for the pro forma meeting, and maybe we just move forward, just with that. Right. Yeah. So then the question becomes: Do we push? So I think. For the meeting on the 12th, we just do the 12th. Uh, do we proceed with the discussion <coughs> of the capital plan further on the 12th? I'm inclined to think that that's actually okay as well without Peter being there. I don't know. How do you feel about that? Well, I feel fine with that because, again, it's going to go through the building committee and the school committee. So yeah. by that, that point, we've all agreed on the document. You're just presenting it. But, Peter, you are the chair of the building committee. And, I am, I, I, but and I'm have just saying the most in-depth knowledge of the, yep. the individual components. It's so you're, but, it's but a, I understand the timeline here, and I don't. Yeah, want to, that's the thing, and it's a somewhat preliminary discussion, and in a lot of regards, more a political one than a administrative I, one, because it has to do with what we think the town council, you know, what what direction they're going, or feel right. we should be going, well, what direction we feel we should be going. Dr. Larkin, I, I would just point out that if we let them know that the superintendent can't make it and they're not comfortable with it, we could try yeah. to figure something right. out, right? Yeah. But yeah. if, they're, the if they know that he won't be there and they still want right. to do it, we just do That's it. True. That's true. That's a right. good point yeah. because yeah. let them make that decision. The unintended mm -hmm. message may, may not be what we want. So, true. all right, I'll talk with Denise and see how they feel about that. And, uh, but assume that it's going to be the 12th unless you hear differently from me. Dr. Larkin, one other thing. At 7 p.m.? Sorry. I think that was the idea, yeah. Thank you. I know we talked about this in one of the previous meetings. I see that uh, February 14th, Valentine's Day, is <laughs> the meeting day. I, I wrote down that we agreed we would push that back to the 7th the week before. Okay. I don't know if anyone recollects that or we have it in the meeting minutes or no, anything. We, were, we, did just, we did talk about that. I think we did, too. It's Valentine's <clears throat> Day. so And I'm spending that with one of my loves, the PC Friars. They have a home game that night. Well, uh, we did approve a calendar so we did it and maybe that didn't get caught did we approve the seventh it is it does. I, I don't have it in front do you have it Carolyn well it's the purview of the committee to decide what they want to do so I think we already did agree on the seventh but I could yeah. be wrong we did we had the discussion I don't remember right. the outcome so is everybody okay moving the 14th to the seventh mm -hmm. I don't think we need a vote so we'll just say we're going to do the seventh. Oh yeah, you don't want All right, say again. <laughs> Enough hot water. No need. Right. <laughs> committee, are we going to be here? Anything else about the meeting schedule right now? As always, right. we can. And then it says delegates invited, so we haven't invited them yet, or do we need to let we them know it's the seventh? Um, okay, that's great. Well, that's now that good. I know the date, I mean yeah. it's still a little far out. I was going to wait till after the holidays. I, I'm sure they wouldn't have yeah. wanted to come on Valentine's <laughs> no, Day either. Sure, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to ask for a motion to return to executive session under Rhode Island General Law 4246-5A1 and 2, legal advice regarding the superintendent and school committee, superintendent evaluation, negotiation update, Council 94, and Newport Special Education, and advice on budget project process. I'll make that motion. Second. Okay, I'll ask for a vote. Mr. Dakotas? Yes. Mrs. Bavo? Yes. Mrs. Farnwer? Yes. I vote yes. We're back in executive. Thank you, everyone. Yep.